Oh, I'm sorry for yelling, guys. It's past 7 a.m. already. I'm really tired. But I wanted to make this video tutorial now. While well, I have kind of, you know, intention to do this. So let's split this video in three parts. It will be one big video, but logically, first part will cover some aspects of how you should and shouldn't use ULGP. The second part is my solution in a nutshell, you know, and the last part would be a small live demo demo of my gameplay. How I use my LGP and the second PC to stream it. So generally LGP has only one really cool feature is it's PC free utility. You can make pretty good quality videos by pressing only one button. And every time you need to record the video or you know edit them upload it you should probably use this feature well sometimes you know too good quality video takes too much too much space on your hard drive and it's not convenient to edit such a good quality video just because it's too slow process like half a gigabyte for 10 minutes long video it's too much so you have to use some program some software that decreases uh, video quality when you record it or you know some third party software to post process your recorded video and make it uh, make it with lesser quality but I find this uh, kind of video breaking quality breaking so better Edit uh, better better to record the video in a better in worse quality than to make it worse after you already recorded it with some other problem. So uh, here's where we encounter the first frustration from EverMedia LGP. It's that the ads of EverMedia that told us it doesn't have any overhead on your CPU is complete bullshit. It's such a fucking lie that. Well, I can't express my disappointment. I posted on a few forums all my frustration, and actually, the official forum was down for over f two months, maybe even more. I don't know. I personally waited for two months before they run it again. Whatever. So, Rec Central or Recentral, I don't know how to pr pronounce it correct. Uh, it it is comparable in performance with using just straightforward your X264 encoder when you use OBS and yeah you don't have much performance uh, gain when you use Recentral also if you stream with it it usually gives you a lot of problems it's not stable it splits your stream in a lot of a, a multiple uh, multiple small pieces and you can't really predict when it starts happening sometimes it's just it just freezes you know hangs up and you can't predict that some some viewers can type you know if you're lucky to have some viewers <laughs> that there is something wrong with your stream and you have to check it out and yeah your stream is down that's it. You have to manually kill the process, start it over and over again. That's really tedious, unreliable. So the other solution that was kind of response, you know, feedback from other media to community uh, is to create a kind of layer that will allow to detect OBS uh, your ever media LGP as a device and it, it is also important to have you know such an option to to put some layers over your video like web camera some animated gifs you know some cool stuff that it usually is good option for obvious or explit users that's it they can't really fix it but in my opinion maybe i'm wrong this is August 2004.
14 if you watch it in your time maybe stream engine is a good thing but right now they don't seem to work on it to improve anything so it's a killer of your CPU as I wrote it here it doesn't give you anything it it is just broken whatever um, so we want to use PC uh, second PC to stream so we completely el eliminate any CPU impact and usually there is a problem you can't really use microphone and your stream PC sound card because your stream PC is a trash for example mine is a 2009 MSI CR500 model and it has the worst audio card ever like you can't even speak Skype uh, without getting uh, the person you speak to completely annoyed <laughs> so the static is too high that's what I'm saying the static is just un un unimaginable unbearable um, so you wanna you wanna do this you wanna plug your sound and microphone in your gaming PC you wanna have HDMI connecting your PC to LGP and also streaming PC to LGP you can't really follow the Avery Media suggested solution by plugging in your uh, headphones in LGP because you can't use microphone after that well you can actually go here and check to listen to this device property but for people with common sense it's not a valuable option and uh, not a valid option because you know no one want to hear themselves while they're streaming it's so annoying that's where the third party program comes handy it's called virtual audio cable your audio cable you can download it in from for example CNET you know some good resource to have uh, free programs from so you get the latest version from here you install it and you run it just before we go any further I want to give you uh, a common understanding of your RAID central that you run on the streaming PC. You want to have your master on and in master on page one you choose uh, other PC on page two you choose HDMI as video source and on page three audio you choose only HDMI nothing else that's it very simple so when you install your audio cable a virtual audio cable yeah you want to run the control panel uh, with the privileges of the administrator. But before you do this, turn off all your music, any sounds, and also turn off your sound window. Then you want to put number two here and have two cables. So when you have it, you press set, you make two cables completely identical. You don't really need mic chosen here, but I suggest to choose just because it works more stable for me, or maybe I, I'm just doing something wrong. But I believe you can leave only line selected, that's it for both of them. Make sure you select volume control and enable channel mixing for both of them, that's it. Exit. Maybe you can also restart, there is button restart, but whatever. Then you open audio repeater without administrator rights you don't need that just open three copies of it I already opened three copies but let's look at the fresh one you have lining line out lining has some options line out also has some options just notice that we have line one and two according to our settings and well this one you know I think it's redundant. You also have microphone, uh, Microsoft Sound Mapper, which I believe is the same. They are treated completely identical by this program. So it's very easy. You have so called total buffer, 
and it, it just sets you delay you know the buffer is something that helps your com uh, helps your CPU to compute it so if you are running very very old computer you should probably leave it like you know half a second but I suggest you to change it to 100 because delay uh, one second or half second is really noticeable so 100 is enough or as I do use 200 whatever and to wave out you have also line 1 line 2 but also you can have ever media and speakers let's look at this close a little bit you have HDMI cob cable from your uh, video card to LGP which also transmits trans 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 transmits transmits oh my god what the fuck am I saying did I really say that I'm sorry uh, transmits uh, not only your video but also sound from your computer to LGP uh, but you want to hear only in-game sound on your speakers that's why you use line one let's close this and open my three windows you want to have three windows you use line one as your default s mm, playback device you want to transfer sound from line one to speakers right so you hear in-game sound but also you want to have uh, your Evermedia HD which is a device that is responsible for transferring audio from your computer to LGP you want to have it as a collector of two sources your audio which is line one because we chose it as a default and also your microphone you can choose microphone or microphone sound mapper M Microsoft sound mapper as I did as I said they are treated completely identical by this problem they works uh, they work both fine and you want to have buffer the same equal in every screen you want to start them just press start you know like start that's it they start working and they collect sound uh, from your microphone and your screen or call it whatever into one output source as Evermedia HD and you hear only only what's going on in your screen in your speakers so you minimize those windows you close this one also if you're curious you need to have microphone as your default recording device of course to eliminate further questions so let's uh, start the third part of the video right because I want to have you guys completely sure that it's not fake this is really working sh working solution I want to run Elder Scrolls for Oblivion with FCOM huge mod and very very demanding ENB it also will be on the maximum graphic settings so view distance on maximum, everything on maximum, it's ultra high 720p let's play a little bit just like a minute you know to give you a small understanding and you can have you can imagine how it goes some safe on open air that looks like a legit one. I must say I have some mods installed uh, installed wrong that's why my character will stagger every two seconds while it goes like this. You can see my encumbrance always go down to zero and she stops. But this is 60 FPS or close to 60 you know this is how it looks with HDR pretty sexy you know you can also turn it off I believe yeah there it is. That is this is vanilla this is how it looks without any ENB 
So it's not completely vanilla. It has some retextures, you know, some landscape and other modifiers. But I love E and B. It makes game really, really, really life. You know, everything is bright. Everything is kind of blurred. I love this effect. That's it. That's pretty much it. And I want you to leave your comments below if you find that useful or if you find a better solution. So any thoughts how to improve this. Uh, if you find my voice or accent really annoying, you can dislike this video. But I really want you to like the video if you find it useful in your special case, you know, your personal opinion about it. That's it. You don't need to subscribe. I just want to help you to start doing some high quality streams and get use of your LGP. Don't throw it away. It has PC free utility. It's really cool. It's really useful if you run it, on, for example. If you want to record your PlayStation 3 or Ubuntu as I did, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.